All right, so I have my new standard inches part. I hit create. So when I first thing I'm going to do is start a new sketch. You're always going to start up here in the top left to start a sketch. Just click on it to start a 2D sketch. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to bring me these three planes. I have my X, Y, and Z axes right here. And these are the three-dimensional planes that I can draw on. Right now it doesn't really matter, so you can just click on one. This uh, Y, Z plane right here is good. So if you click on that, now you can start drawing. When I draw, I have all these tools up here on the top this entire toolbar right here to work with under this sketch tab. So for example, line, click on my tool, and I can come over here, I can click and just click, don't hold it down, just click and let go and then I can move around right here until I like where it is and I can click again. So that gives me a line. You can see I can make connected lines by just keep on clicking. If I'm done what I can do is I can, on my keyboard, hit escape, and that gives me a beautiful line right there. I don't want that, so I'm going to undo that. And just like every other program, control Z is undo to get rid of that. You also see when I click that line tool and I click down, that on the little box right there with the dimension, right there, 0.725, I can type in numbers right there. So if I wanted exactly one inch, I can come in and just type a one. When I hit enter, that gives me a line that's one inches long. You also notice there is that other box up at the top that gives me the degrees. So if I want it straight line, I remember I have to make sure that's either 90, 180, minus 90, or zero degrees to give me perpendicular lines. Right now the point six four two is highlighted so I can type in one and then if I hit the tab key on my keyboard on the left, hit tab, now I can type in that other one. So if I wanted at 45 degrees, type in 45, hit enter. That gives me a one inch line at 45 degrees. So I delete those, undo, and looking at my drawing, I see I have 10 inches wide by 3 inches high for my bridge. So let's start out by just making a rectangle around here that is a 3 by 10. So if I click my rectangle tool, if I just click and let go, you see I have those two boxes again. I can type in a number. and then I can hit tab and I can get that other number. So 3 by, by 10, that's backwards. So, but I can change that. So I want that 3 inches tall by 10 inches wide. When I hit enter, oh, it's backwards again. But that's okay, because now what I can do, you see I still have the rectangle tool selected, hit escape on the keyboard to get back to my arrow. If I double click, I can type in 3, hit enter. If I come up here, double click, type in 10, hit enter. So that's a way to fix that if I need to. So let's go back. Another thing that might happen is if I come over here, if I type in, I want it 3 inches tall by 10 inches, it may look like my rectangle's gone. What happened is, is I'm just zoomed in way too far. So there's a couple different ways you can handle this. You can zoom on the on your mouse on the scroll wheel. You can just scroll upward and it zooms out. I can use this hand right here to pan, which I can bring it over and zoom out a little bit. Later on, you'll use this orbit tool if, if I want to get the three-dimensional look at it. Up at the top here, I've got this cube. This is my view cube, and I can look at it from different angles. I can rotate it around. And then nice one is if you're completely lost and I have no idea where I am, 
if you hit this little magnifying glass, what that's going to do is it's going to take your whole drawing and zoom and fit it to the window. So if you're lost, just hit that button and you should be able to find it. So now I have my 10 inch by 3 inch rectangle. And I want to fit this bridge into here.